Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the basics you need to know about redstone and how it works. So first of all, redstone block, you can transfer the energy by using redstone dust, but what do you do when the power runs out? As you can see, as you go farther from the source, the power will get less. So now all you need to do is place one repeater. What the repeater does, it gives you full power again from the power source every time you place it. So as you can see, you can go on forever, just place a repeater every time. Okay, so then, after we have that done, let's take a look at the hard power blocks and soft power blocks. First up, soft power blocks. It's when you connect a block with the power source only using dust. As you can see, it doesn't give out power to the sides of your block. Now a hard power source. By using a repeater and then placing a block, you get power into all three directions after placing the block. As you can see, super easy and that's all you need to know about it. Very basic. Now, moving on. I'm just gonna remove this to show you guys something real quick. Okay, so you can take the power right through a wall with either which one, with the hard or the soft, as long as you connect the repeater on the other side of your wall. That's the hard one, and here's the soft power source. Let me show you real quick. As you can see, same effect, same thing happens. You can go straight through a wall, super easy, and yeah, you just need to know it. Now, our two pistons, which is a normal piston and a sticky piston. Let me remove that real quick. I'm just gonna put some dust, so you guys watch the difference and now you can use this stuff. Now, I'm about to do something that's wrong and before I get to the end of it, I want you to tell me what it is. You can just write it right up there in the comments. Let me place all the redstone real quick. Okay all the way to the piston place a lever real quick and yes for the mistake guys it won't work your lever has to be in line with the dust between the piston and the power source otherwise it won't work as you can see if i place it over there the piston will work i'm gonna fix other side as well okay a lever over there there we go, and as you can see, both persons is powered now. Now the difference. If you place a block right in front of both, if you use the normal piston, what will happen? It will push it away, but it won't attack the block. Where if you use the sticky piston and it pushes it away, it will bring it in back again. As you can see, and that is all you need to know about the pistons. Super easy, but if you don't know it, you'll struggle. Okay, then moving on. Let's use what we've learned in a real way. It will happen in the game. As you can see, I have a wall over here. You can put a repeater, take it straight through. And a turn. Take it straight through again. Only using dust and a repeater on the other side. There we go. Okay, and then we'll just connect the piston over here. As you can see, if I put the lever over here, we go through the wall two times with a very long distance and everything works. 